Okay, it's been a hot second since I have played Cookie Clicker. A lot of folks really seem to enjoy the first video I did on Auto Hotkey, which was all about how to use a basic auto clicker to do Cookie Clicker. I wanted to revisit that one. I think I've got a little bit to add to really show you how I would use Cookie Clicker now to, or how to use Auto Hotkey to, to really click bunch of cookies on this. I wanted to start out fresh, brand new auto hockey script just to show you that this doesn't need to be anything special. I've got a auto hockey script named cookieclick.ahk here and we're just going to go through it. First thing I'm going to do is figure out how many times I'm going to click. So we're going to create an input box and our input box is going to have click var and how many clicks what this is going to do is going to display an input box asking us how many times do we want to click to start off our cookie clicking adventure we're going to do control shift alt c two colons a semicolon to start a comment here this hotkey is to click cookies this is the special notation for control, for plus, for alt, and then the letter C. Then these two colons here let the script know that anything underneath this is going to be what our script is going to do. All of this is just a comment, so none of this is actually doing anything. It's just to let us know when we open this file up again in the future what this hotkey is going to do. We're going to create a GUI for this demonstration. For our GUI, we're going to create it with some options. We want it to always be on top. So we'll do plus always on top. We don't want this one to have a menu option. So we don't want this little tiny window that we're going to display to show up at all. It's we're going to do plus owner. Uh, plus owner here is really just to uh, uh, make this window be owned by our script. That's my understanding of what this is doing. Then we want minus caption. That way it doesn't show the normal uh, bar up top with your minimize, maximize, and close. It'll, it'll, it'll make a lot of sense why we did all those things once you actually see the window that we're going to create with this script. We're going to add some text to our GUI now. We're going to put that at X0, Y plus 1. So we're just going to nudge it a pixel down from the initial upper left-hand portion of the window. Time to click cookies. That way it's going to display this text. Time to click cookies. GUI, add text, X0, Y plus 1. Actually, we're just going to take the same line here and copy it down three times. We're going to add a hotkey to pause the script. Alt plus escape to pause. We're not actually adding the hotkey right now. This is just text that will display to let us know that these are options available to us. Shift plus escape to abort. We're going to add a variable control here. This control right here is going to allow us to interact with the with this with this uh, text control that we're that we're uh, going to update with the value of how how far along we are in our clicking adventure. We're going to show the GUI after this. We don't want that. We're going to GUI show. We'll, we'll do center. This is going to put it right in the middle of the window, or right in the middle of the screen that we're using. Now we're going to loop through. And we're going to loop through the number of times 
that we had dis defined up there. So remember, again, we said input box, and we're going to put that number that we're inputting into this variable click var. So now we're going to loop that many times through our next set of instructions. I'm going to put some... We're going to update first here. We're going to update our control. This is the name of the control that we're updating. Here's our A index, which is going to be the current iteration of the loop that we are on. Our click var is going to be the number of times total that we're going to be cycling through this. Then after this, we're going to sleep. We'll do 50. And then GUI destroy which will get rid of the GUI that we're going to create, then we'll return. So now our loop and our clicker is complete. This is pretty much it. That's the whole meat and potatoes of it. As I said before, we are going to have alt, alt escape, pause our script. So pause toggle will toggle the pause state in our script. Now we've got shift escape. And what this one will do, reload the script. We don't need a return after this one because reloading will completely reload our script. This is really everything that we need to do to get going. So I'm going to save this. We're going to save this as cookieclick.ahk. Then we're going to run it. Tools, default run. See, here's our window now. It's asking us how many clicks. Let's go with 1,000. So I'll go ahead and start our script over here. Control, Shift, C, and you can see that our timer is clicking here. And if I hover over our cookie, well, it doesn't seem like it's actually clicking. Let's see. Let's go back to our... Oh, you know why? Forgot. Pretty important piece of information there. Click. So now that we've actually got the click command in there, I think I would know this. We're having an entire video on this. Control Alt Shift C. There we go. Now I can hit Alt Escape to pause my clicker. You can see we've got 62 out of 500 clicks have happened. Hitting Alt Escape will unpause my script and let it fly. If I wanted to reload and start over, I can hit Shift Escape. It's going to reload the window here that says how many clicks because, again, we've reloaded our script from scratch we can do 2000 and I can do a control alt shift C and as you can see our window here has no little title bar it doesn't show up on the task bar it's a little sleek window that tells us it's time to click cookies it tells us what our available options are as far as the other hotkeys alt escape to pause shift escape to abort and then it gives us a counter to let us know where we're at in our clicking adventure so if i wanted to say shift escape uh, we'll go ahead and cancel this time i think that that yeah that gives us a, a zero so if i do that then it won't do anything when i trigger the hotkey we'll do 200 we'll store that in And we're going to take a look at our script again here. Here we go. Let's reduce our sleep uh, down to maybe 10. 
and we'll hit file save. Okay. And so sleep should now only sleep for about 10 milliseconds. Uh, what we can do to try and reduce that is we can uh, use a set key delay, I believe, or uh, different play modes, try and reduce it even further, but 10 milliseconds should be fine. So we'll do tool, we'll hit run, and we'll go ahead and do a thousand clicks here, and we'll do control alt shift C. Okay, and as you can see, we've immediately gotten the uncanny clicker achievement as we are now clicking much, much faster than a human normally would on the cookie. And we're racking up those points. Now, one thing to note though, is this is just going to keep clicking no matter where I have it. So I can go over here and hover over any of these things, hover over these X's. And as you can see, our timer is still going. It is still gonna be clicking. That's why I usually like to build in the alt escape to pause, shift escape to abort, depending on the game you're playing, depending on what you're doing. You might want to modify those if those are important inside of your game. But for most purposes, these are really good to slow down the roll, to chill it out, to abort whatever sort of crazy thing is happening. Uh, and typically these will interrupt most most types of uh, scripts. So there we go. We've clicked a thousand times. We can afford more grandmas. Control Alt Shift C. And if I want to say now I want to do this uh, 50,000 times because I really just want to sit here and relax. There we go. It's 50,000. Obviously if you wanted to you could remove the t the variable there altogether. Uh, just do an infinite loop and break it with your alt escape or shift escape. That's another way to go about this. But I really like the numbered method as it does give you a little bit more control over how your script functions. And usually most of the time when you're using auto clicker, you're not tending to walk away immediately. You really want to get that fine tuned before you're able to sort of automate yourself completely out of a game or some sort of a task. Hopefully this uh, 2022 update has been helpful in understanding how to use auto hotkey about how to create a small GUI. Oh, look at that. We must have clicked a golden cookie. What a wonderful thing to uh, end the video with. Hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, I'd love to hear about what it's helped you understand with auto hotkey. If there's more you want to learn, I want to hear about what you want to do with auto hotkey. How can I help you? If you look at my previous videos, you can see I'm very responsive to comments. I like to help people understand how to use auto hockey to help them automate themselves out of doing tedious and repetitive tasks. So if there's something I can help you understand about auto hockey, understand about it, what it can do, I'd love to hear it. And if this video has been helpful, I would love it if you could like the video drop a comment just to say you liked it or subscribe to the channel if you're feeling it. I've got about 70 subscribers right now and everyone is a true blessing. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this auto hockey tutorial. My name is Jason Altberg. Thanks much for watching.